everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. God closes one door to open another. For Frances Cabrini, she could hardly imagine what God had waiting for her on the other side of hers. She was born to one of 13 children to a farming family in Lombardy, Italy in 1850. She grew up attending a school run by the Daughters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, so she was immediately drawn to a vocation in the order. Because of her poor health resulting in a premature birth, Frances was denied acceptance into the convent. She still went on to graduate with the status of cum laude and obtained her teaching certificate at the school. Feeling the rejection was a call from God to remain with her family on the farm. She cared for her parents until their death in 1870. Frances continued to work on her parents' farm until she was invited to teach at the House of Providence Orphanage in Codogno. She was there six years and fell in love with the work she was doing. She became the headmistress and took her own religious vows to live by. Frances encouraged other women to live a religious way of life and eventually added Xavier to her name in honor of St. Francis Xavier, the patron saint of missionaries. I smell some foreshadowing. Just when things seemed to be going so well for Sister Frances, the school was closed in 1880. This was only greeted by an invitation from her bishop to establish the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart. There, she would see to it that the children battling illnesses, a cause that she held dearly in her heart, would be properly educated and cared for. With these missions striving, the young sister gained the attention of Pope Leo VIII. He invited Sister Frances to travel to the U.S. and continue her mission work in the States. She packed her bags along with six other sisters and landed in New York in 1889. Sister Frances worked closely with immigrants, specifically Italians, to come to know Christ and be ministered however needed. She continued to spread the gospel throughout the United States and eventually obtained her citizenship in America. By the end of her life, she had established 62 orphanages, hospitals, and schools throughout the North and South America and Europe. She died in 1917 from complications due to malaria and became the first canonized U.S. citizen in 1946. She's officially recognized as the patron saint of immigrants and it is apparently the best intercessor for finding a parking spot. As one priest said, she did live in New York, so she knew a thing or two about driving. When life doesn't go as planned, we can't throw in the towel and immediately give up on what God's calling us to. Just because one opportunity doesn't work out doesn't mean that we're done, no matter how it seems in the moment. May we be reminded daily not to just care for our brothers and sisters, but to also give ourselves some mercy to be ready for wherever God is calling us. St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.